think Apollo is just enjoying the area in general. Just hanging out next to the mailbox. Hey boy. Right, Apollo? So anyways, like, subscribe, do it for him, if not for anyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Mm. God, I hate my life right now. And Apollo is enjoying it too, right? <laughs> Today, we are gonna work on our curb appeal. Our house is on a dead end street. There's a few houses down this street. And we are gonna make sure that when people drive by, they're not gonna keep looking at this 100 year old mailbox. This thing looks ancient. I mean, somebody just split some wood, shoved it in the ground and made it look good. By all means, it, it functions well and uh, it probably looks good when the house was in its original state, but I think it's time that we revamp the mailbox, make it look better, make it look good, and what better than a DIY mini project is what I'd call this. Paula's gonna help me out, and uh, this shouldn't take too long, but we're gonna make it pretty uh, simple. I believe the color I'm going for, unless I change it in the next hour, is a white mailbox. We're gonna keep the same actual mailbox, and then we'll switch it out soon. But for now, we're just gonna keep the same one and uh, make it look good. So we got these bushes planted. They're called Blue Point Junipers and got those in a few months ago. So without further ado, let's get started and um, get this mailbox situated. Make it look good, brand new. We're gonna plant some flowers around it. Big thing we wanna do is uh, figure out one thing and you can't really see it from this angle So I will take out my phone and show you all right. So right here are the tracks of the Post office vehicle and so obviously the roads right here, but they keep jumping off the road into The yard and so if you can see it, it's pushed the dirt out a bit and what I'd like to do is actually bring the mailbox about 18 inches close to the road so then we can avoid that problem. Um, I would hate for them to keep driving in my yard. So this is, uh, this is pretty important. So what we're gonna do is measure out the distance between how far they're going in and then we're gonna pull the mailbox in that much to the road. So let's get that measured out. So 17 inches is what they, how far they went in. So imagine, so we wanna kinda keep it on the edge of this tree, so, which is right here. That's where the center of the mailbox will be. So let's get to digging. It's tough. We wanna dig this a few foot, feet deep. Like two or three maybe. And we're gonna concrete the post in. That's a workout. So that's about two feet right there and eight inches wide. So that's good. All right, here it is. Brand new post. Yeah, that looks great. All right, let's get the concrete. All right, so we got some concrete poured into this big old bucket. And we'll slowly just uh, keep dumping. So the mixture I did was four, two, one, four rock, two sand, one Portland cement. Okay, so the important thing at this point is to level it. And we're gonna grab uh, a two by four or just any kind of scrap wood and attach it on both sides. 
get it to be a bit more sturdy. I mean, if you took like a lawnmower to it, obviously it would, it would knock it off, but you wanna make sure at least it's strong enough to, you know, withstand a hammer hitting it. So we're good. All right, we're gonna work on the top part now where the mailbox actually sits. And so the mailbox will sit on the front end rather than the back end, most do. So there are many different styles if you look on Pinterest when it comes to mailbox ideas. When you type that in, DIY mailbox ideas, there's just plenty of ideas, options. There are very simple ones. There's some you can buy for a couple bucks. There's some you can really build out and customize yourself. Um, this is one that's uh, fairly common, uh, the one that I'm building. So you can really get sucked into Pinterest just looking at different ideas over here so don't don't do that so it's close to level it's just leaning down a bit all right so we got our support right here cut it at 45 degree angle it'll be somewhere So this is strong enough. Now we're gonna pre-drill some holes, figure out how far this is gonna be out, and then drill that in as well. We went ahead and took off the corner. We didn't go to a complete corner you know, to 45 degree angle, we left about three quarters of an inch and it just gives it a better look right here on an angle. So that's pretty good. All right, so we got this top piece on. Put a black cap on after we paint this whole thing. Okay, we're gonna take off this old mailbox. See how it looks. Looks good. Okay, let's tear down this old mailbox. It's rough looking. Do you think I can do it with one kick? With some speed maybe. Ooh, that's in there. So what we just did was take that dirt that was pushed because of the postal service car that drove by and kept pushing that dirt out. And so there was a little ditch. So I took that dirt, flattened it out, uh, sowed some seeds and put some straw on it. Actually more like hay. That's all I had right now. I'll probably buy some straw later some straw on it but that just kind of helps retain moisture and pollen not track the dirt so a few minutes we'll try to sand this down just a tad bit and start painting it at least get a coat on and then another coat later so that's good all right so i painted this whole box and then i ended up cutting a one by six 
angled it and nailed it together. Looks pretty good now. Alright, I'm putting my last coat of paint on. We are almost done. We went ahead and put on the new mailbox. I uh, bought this one at Home Depot and it's not the galvanized steel one, it's the plastic one. Uh, I just figured for the price that it was and how it looks, its durability, it should be fine. I heard some of uh, the reviews about the metal one, it would still rust. So I <clears throat> figured I'd avoid that and put this one on. So this looks good. Go ahead and give it one good last coat. Put some brackets on, call it a day. Okay, so we got our last coat of paint on. Looks pretty good. All right, there it is. Pretty good looking. All right, two more things. So we got these black little brackets. They're gonna help support this mailbox. So because this right here, this uh, four by four is sitting directly on with just two screws and uh, I cocked it right here. So it's tough to see, but it makes it nice and seamless. I even sanded it right here to get nice and smooth. But because this is just hanging out, you could probably just take a hammer to it one time and it'll fall off. We're gonna take these brackets right here and put them on right here. Give it some strength. We're gonna do it away from the edge as well. We don't wanna split the wood or anything. All right, this right here, it's like an aluminum cap. It's the last piece. We'll go ahead and put a bead under it, around the inside edge, put it on, just let it dry on. All right, we're done. Got the cap on, put some silicone around it. These little brackets are on and fastened. Keep this little top part on there. Number eight is good to go. What do you think? I think it's great. So as always, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know. And uh, Paulo, he's, <laughs> he's also enjoyed Hanging out with you guys as well. Kinda, he's like the star of the show. Right, Apollo? So anyways, like, subscribe, do it for him, if not for anyone else. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Good boy.